This part of the English Midlands is known with affection as the potteries, the people who crafted plates and ceramics with a reputation as kind and welcoming. But over the decades, many of the factories which used to employ generations from the same families lie ruined. As the work moved abroad, nobody came to help. On one of the tired shopping streets, a vicar who spends his time reaching out to a variety of underprivileged groups offers a compelling interpretation of the vote to leave the EU. Why wasn't anything done? Why wasn't anything changed? I don't think it was done out of a degree of hubris or arrogance. Maybe sometimes a sense of annoyance, a sense of distance, a chasm, so to speak, between you know, the hundred and so miles between Stoke and London. But to say, no, we're here too. But if those who voted leave are defiant, elsewhere there are genuine concerns about the future. Who would have voted to stay in the European Union? That's almost everybody, isn't it? Il veut changer ses attitudes. After all, some would like to get out of Stoke and spread their wings. Is there much point learning French if you can't get a work permit there in the future? Yeah, it just seems that we've been working so hard to knock down these barriers and you know, push forward, make connections with people all over the world. And now it just seems to be going the other way. So. You can't blame people for using their vote to protest against what happened to their once great town. Equally, you can't blame the young for wanting to get out of a city which seems to have lost hope. It's the same story in so many cities like this where traditional industry has gradually faded away and been replaced by what people nowadays call the gig economy, low paid work with no prospects or structure. Well, the Prime Minister says that Brexit is an opportunity to change that, to create an economy which works for everyone, not just the privileged few. The question is, what do you do in proud industrial towns to give people hope? Because the things which made Stoke rich, like pottery and coal, will now never come back. What they want instead are expressions of new local economies to offer opportunities to people who know how to make things. I think that, uh, that growth, which we have very strongly here, of civic businesses, businesses who really care about the area, are really deeply rooted here and care about the people here, that's going to be one of the great um, advantages that we're going to have um, and a real um, new way of looking at business and, and, and society. This world outside London has turned British politics upside down. The complaint from the capital is, why isn't there a plan for Brexit? But Stoke says, you never gave us a plan when we needed it. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, Stoke-on-Trent.